Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here today at the range with us, we have a UARM Level 3A vest, and I'm here to tell you, I've tested a lot of vests. This is the best quality vest I have ever had my hands on. So, just to give you a little bit look on the inside, you know, it's got all kind of different uh, stuff you can attach on the sides, Velcro on the back, Velcro on the front, all over the place, lots of different adjustments on the top and all around the side, but it's also comfortable and probably the most breathable vest I've ever had my hands on too. But as sturdy, as solid, like I said, probably the best one I ever had my hands on. But that's not why we're here today. We are here to test it out. And this is a level 3A, which means it's rated to take at least a 44 mag. But past experience, we've had stuff 3A that did even better than 44 mag. But out here today, check it out what we're going to be taking some shots with. We've got a 22LR, a 380 9mm, a 38 357 Magnum, then we got a 40, then a 45, then a 10mm, then a 45 Colt, a 454 Casul, a 50 AE, that's right, even the Desert Eagle. Then we have some more rifle calibers, the FN57. Then we have the 223, 300 blackout, and if we still don't have enough holes, we got the 308 out here. So let's go set this vest up, and we're gonna get to shooting, and we'll show you guys if any of it goes through. But should be pretty fun. Check it out, UARM vest. Videos like this take a whole lot of stuff to put together. Let me show you everything we got on the table out here. First, we got a Heritage Rough Rider for 22LR, Taurus Spectrum for the 380, Smith Model 59 9mm, Taurus Model 66 for the 38s and 357. We got a Glock 21 for the 45. We got a Rock Island 1911 for the 40. Then we got a Taurus. Raging Judge Magnum for the 45 Colt and the 454 Casul. Uh, yeah, let's keep going this way. Desert Eagle for the 50 AE. Then we got a CMMG Banshee for the 10 millimeter. Then we have a CMMG with a 5.7 upper and a 40 round conversion mag, 40 rounds of 5.7. We might blast all those into that vest. Then we got a CMMG Resolute 5.56 for the 223. Then we got a CMMG 300 Blackout. Then we got a CMMG Endeavor in 308. We're gonna load them up and yeah. Shoot that vest. We got that vest set up on the range right there. Let's check it out. All right, so we got everything set up. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shoot a couple, two, three, four, and then after we shoot those two, three, four, we'll go up to the vest and check and see if the bullet went through it. But let's get to blasting. See what we can figure out about this vest. Does it function as good as it looks? First off, we're gonna start with the 22. I'll try to do this picture in picture where I have you guys zoomed in on the vest here. Let's put some 22 just right in the middle of it. We're shooting at about 10 yards. Yep, gotta take the safety off. All right, there was 622. What we put in here? We got a 380 going here. Shoot the 380 right there. Now, I'll go ahead and shoot the 9mm. Is that Smith? Oh, yeah. Now, uh, let's go ahead and shoot the 38 and then the 357 Magnum out of this revolver here. And we'll go up there and check it. Ooh, I like it. Trigger there. Oh 
357 has got some boogie. Let's go up there and see if any of those came out the back of there. It's rated to stop all this stuff now. All right, now, you can definitely see we hit it a whole bunch of times here. Let's see if I can get the light on it where you guys can see the rounds. Get in here real good. There's all the shots on it. One up there at the top and the rest of them pretty close to the center there. So we've got a bucket in here. So if anything went through, we should have some bullet holes on the side of this bucket. So let's pull this vest off real quick and check that bucket. Looking through it, doesn't look like any holes came through the inside, but we'll check the bucket just in case. And to get you guys in close there, I don't see any holes in the side of that bucket. So let me show you this bucket. We've shot it before. See how the, the back's already been split out. But we picked this clean side of this bucket for this video. And that thing absolutely stopped everything so far up to 357 Magnum. Let's go grab some bigger toys out here and see what it'll stop else. All right, what's next? We got a 40. I'm gonna shoot a 40 out of this 10 millimeter Rock Island. See if we can hit it with a 40. Now we got a 45 ACP, Glock 21. Got him. Now, we're gonna shoot a 45 Long Colt out of this Taurus Raging Judge. Oh yeah. Now, a 454 Casul. has a big boom. That's one of my favorites, 454 Casole. Now, we got the Desert Eagle. Big thanks to Heavy Metal for letting us borrow this baby. Always fun to get out the 50 AE. Let's see if that thing will stop a Desert Eagle here. And, uh, well that thing twisted the, the vest around, didn't it? Yeah, it a little did bit. So, uh, we'll go ahead and shoot it with his 50, then we'll see if it put any holes in it. I haven't shot this one in a while, man. Oh, yeah. Let's go check out the vest again. See if we got any holes come through the back. It is not rated for 50 AE. And this, uh, I do believe 454 Casul is higher than 3A rating, too. But let's go see if it stopped that stuff, too. All right, so walking up to it here. Definitely had some good hits. See, there's some more holes in the front there than there was last time that's for sure and coming around to the front hmm let's get that vest off and see if we got any holes through it looking at the uh inside there i do not see any holes coming through the inside and there's definitely no holes out the back of the vest there so let's look at this so no there's no holes. There's actually one dimple. Let me zoom you in there a little bit. It dimpled that, so it got hit hard enough to put a little bit of a dimple, but it 100% stopped all of those rounds. So it's a 3A vest there. Stopped 45 Colt, 454 Casul, and even 50 AE. So, tell you what, let's go... Uh, we're gonna load up the 10 millimeter next and then the 5.7 next and we'll see if those go through. All right, now we got the 10 millimeter. We're gonna be firing it out of the CMMG Banshee. I don't know how many we loaded up in here, but I'm gonna shoot them all out of it. Just empty it. Oh, that's how many we had in there. Now let's get the... Uh, CMMG, the 57 upper, and that 40 round mag. Tell you what, I think I loaded about 10 in here. Let's just go ahead and dump them all. 40 might be cheating. We still got some more calibers to test out. Oh yeah, this one's got the laser on it. Yeah, I can see the laser right here. 
Oh no, is our laser dead? Oh, there it is. Where's the laser? Alright, there we go. You guys see that laser there? Still got more. Oh, my laser light. Running out of batteries. Hey, that's a whole lot of fun. 5.7. Let's go see if the 10 millimeter or the 5.7 out of these ARs went through that vest. All right, now he's definitely got a whole lot more holes in that thing on the front. Let's take a quick look. See if the 5.7 or the uh, 10 millimeter went through there. And we got a couple really small holes. And looking at the vest here too, there's a couple holes there out the back. So one of two things, let me show you the holes in the bucket here. Really, a couple of those 5.7s made it through there. And again, this vest is only rated up to 44 mag. We're being silly and shooting it with stronger stuff. But it did stop all those 10 millimeters. I can actually feel the rounds in there. And it stopped most of those 5.7s. A couple of those 5.7s might have only made it through if we shot the exact same spot or something. But let's go get the 223, 300 blackout, and the 308 and see what happens. All right, now, I'm going to hit it with some 223. This is my CMMG Resolute in 5.56. Let's, uh, let's give it the beans on several here, see what happens. Two, two, three. Now, all right, now let's hit it with some 300 blackout. This is my CMMG Resolute 300 blackout. Uh, let's uh, hit it with several of these here. All right, now let's hit it with the big boy we brought out today. Oh, this is the CMMG Endeavor in 308. This is going to be my main hunting rig this year, so if you're into hunting, stay tuned for some hunting videos with this baby. But, let's hit it with the 308 here. Yeah, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. This is probably my favorite rifle. Yeah, boy. So, I can just about promise you that went through it. But, let's go see what happened to that vest. Alright, so I tried to shoot all those in spots where we hadn't hit yet. It's a little easier to aim those rifles. But, let's see what happened here. Definitely got some good hits on that thing. But, nothing came out the back. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a bunch of holes in this thing. 223. I know for sure it's those big holes are 308. Let's uh, let me give you a little bit closer. Look, you see those 308 big old hole rifle rounds definitely went through that baby. But thanks for watching the video today, guys. Whole lot of fun testing out this vest from UARM. It stopped everything that it was rated for and then some. It's a 3A vest and it still stopped 45 Colt, 454 Casul. And what else? A bunch of the 5.7 rounds and even that Desert Eagle 50 AE. But, like I said earlier in the video, probably, absolutely, actually not probably, the best quality vest I've ever had my hands on as far as being comfortable and breathable. And on top of that, actually looking kind of cool at the same time. But, yeah, it's worth mentioning, they don't pay me to say that. I wish they did. But, we're always just trying to find cool things to put in videos for you guys and test out but appreciate you guys watching a big thanks to heavy metal you guys go check them out and subscribe don't forget to subscribe to the hootie hoo channel if you haven't already comment down below what you want to see next time we'll see you on the next one hootie hoo